Okay, in this presentation, we are going to look at the Cauchy distribution, okay? Now, this is a worked example, so I'm going to give the question first, and then we'll talk about the theory, okay? So this is the question. The distribution function is what we're given here, uh, the Cauchy distribution. So the distribution function, the Cauchy distribution, is capital F of X equals 1 over pi times tan to the minus 1, so this is the key part here, of x minus mu divided by lambda plus one half. Let x equal a Cauchy random variable with parameters two and four, and find the probability that x is less than three, x is greater than four, and then x is between one and three, okay? So we're gonna look at this shortly, but we'll notice that we have two inputs here, mu and lambda, okay? Those are the two parameters of the Cauchy distribution, and it's in that key part there. So Let's look at what we know about the Cauchy distribution, okay? So the parameters are x0 and gamma here. Now you notice that that's not what we're given in the question. And that's sort of deliberate that you won't be given consistent notation. You have to just check through stuff. But we have the support there. x is uh, supported on the interval minus infinity to infinity. The probability density function and here we have the cumulative distribution function there. So you notice that arc tan is another way of saying tan to the minus one. Okay, so we have x zero, the location parameter and gamma down there. So we can sort of say that this is the x zero, that is the location parameter, and that is the uh, gamma there. So squiggle, I'm not good at drawing gammas, okay. So mu is the location parameter, lambda is the scale parameter. Okay, let's right bring that down there. So it's just sort of worth checking out the notation because things get a little bit more complicated with these more complicated examples. Anyway, so that's what we're going to use. The quantile function is also given there, which we could use. I'll probably do another video with that, actually. The quantile function, the Cauchy distribution. We're not actually asked it in this case. So, the, yeah, there we go. So, if I am to use this here, this expression here, uh, let mu equal to 2, and let lambda equal to 4, this is the expression I should use, okay? So, it's straightforward enough, really, now. It's getting straightforward enough. Find the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. Well, that is f of 3. And essentially what we do there is let x equal to 3. So here, this key part here, x minus 2 divided by 4. That's 3 minus 2 divided by 4. That's 1 quarter, 0 0.25. And we get the inverse tan of that, and that should work out to be 0 0.245. Uh, 0 0.5 is constant throughout. Okay. And we have 1 over pi, which is 1 divided by 1.31. 416. The fact that I don't have that off the tip of my tongue is a bit disturbing. Anyway, so it works out to be 0 0.578. Now, the probability that x is greater than 4, that is the complement of the cumulative distribution of 4. 1 minus the cumulative distribution of 4. So, straightforward enough, really. We have 1 minus this expression here, 0 0.5 plus 1 over pi times tan to the minus 1 of 4 minus 2 divided by 4. So when you resolve that, we get 0 0.5 minus 1 over 3.1416 times tan to the minus 1 of 0 0.5, the arc tan of 0 0.5. 4 minus 2 divided by 4 is 2 divided by 4, 0 0.5. Uh, working that out, we get 0 0.5 times 0 0.4636 divided by pi, 3.1416, and that gives us 0 0.3524. So finally, the interval, find the probability that x is between 1 and 3. Essentially what we do here is, it's long enough for expression, but we get f of 3, the cumulative distribution function of 3, minus the cumulative distribution function of 1, f3 minus f1. So we have two expressions there. Okay, now they cancel out, the 0.5s cancel out, and we have, so this expression here and this expression here, that's the key part there. So we have tan to the minus 1 of 0 
and tan to the minus 1 of minus 0 0.245 and a little bit of calculator work there and we should get out 0 0.156 okay that's it done blank okay that's it done that's the Cauchy random variables okay